質問を質問で返すなキラークイーン Killer Queen, a stand built for terrorists and built for people who just want to be menaces to society, even in video games. Now, today we're going to be even more of a menace and we'll be upgrading this stand. This is the first episode of Road to Requiem, Killer Queen Bites the Dust Edition. Now, to get my Killer Queen stand, I obviously had to kill the officers already. The next thing that we're going to have to do is give Koichi his suitcase. Why is this actually a quest? It's so pointless. And boring. We made it to Koichi, and finally, we're gonna get to some PvP action. I just need to give this suitcase to Koichi and go speak to Giono. Before that, we're gonna buff our explosive power so we can kill these NPCs quicker. I can already feel the Requiem arrow. Giono is technically getting us to do his dirty work, but I'm fine with it. We need to beat the shit out of Leaky Eye Luca. I'm gonna make him want to never hold a shovel again. Now, obviously, this is the easiest fight in the game. He doesn't even have a stand. I'm still wondering, how did this guy get into Passion without a stand? Maybe the shovel is his stand. Nevertheless, we're still gonna mess him up. Now that we killed Leaky Eye Luca, I can upgrade my stand's explosive power. The next thing that we have to do is kill Bucciarati. Sticky Fingers is one of the most annoying stands ever. I'm so lucky that this NPC doesn't know how to use it properly. I struggled and I struggled. I kept getting knocked down and it was getting very annoying. Boom! Boom! I was getting low on health but these NPCs still barrage first, they're still stupid. Boom! Boom! I almost died to Bruno Bucciarati. I feel so bad at this game. Nevertheless, we're one step closer to getting the Requiem Arrow. The next thing that we had to do was speak to Bucciarati. Obviously, Bucciarati doesn't want to mess with me, so he's on my side now. And we had to give a lighter to Giono for some reason. Giono then thanks me and then tells me to go meet the rest of the gang. Seriously, why the f do I have to meet everyone? This is so pointless. My dumbass must clearly want a bullet in my hairline. I keep almost pressing number 4 when he asks me that question. Bucciarati then sent me to collect $5,000. And my lazy ass was obviously not gonna do that, so I just sold all the stuff I had. We spoke to Tr- And why is she calling me stink- I- You know how disrespectful that is? I would- Oh, I just wanna put- oh. The next thing that we have to do is defeat Fugo with Killer Queen. This can't be that hard. I mean, it's Fugo. He barely gets any screen time. Boom. 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 The next person that we have to defeat is Pesci. Yo, I'm sorry, is nobody gonna mention this guy's neck, bro? What the hell? This pineapple cosplayer deserves everything coming to him. Boom! This pineapple man will feel my wrath. I will make him not want to fish ever again. Boom! 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 The next person that we're gonna have to kill is Jochio. I think that's how you say his name. How do you say his name? Is it Jochio? Surprisingly, I used to struggle with this NPC a lot more than King Crimson or Diavolo. And I don't even know why. But with Killer Queen, it's actually really easy to kill these guys. Maybe it's because of the brain dead explosives that it has. Boom! Boom! He tried to get me, but he can't. No, no, no. Boom. Boom. We finished off Giacho, and now we're gonna have to speak to Bruno. The end is almost near, guys. But wait, I decided to add my own little twist on this quest. You know, in part four, Kero had to go through a few obstacles to, um, get to his killer queen bites the dust form so i decided to add another npc i have to kill which is 
part three Jotaro. Now I know that this NPC is super easy to kill, but I, I'm not fooling anybody, bruv. I'm not killing part six Jotaro with this. So part three Jotaro will have to do. Boom. 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 Butcherot then told me to go and defeat Diavolo alongside Giono. Giono doesn't do shit. I'm literally the only one fighting him, so I don't know why he said that. Now, this is a bit embarrassing, but I did die like three times before this happened. Yeah, I was surprised as well. I should be completely fine with defeating Diavolo. I've done it like a hundred times. And this time, I'm gonna give him a sweet taste of my explosives. This is why you don't mess with Killer Queen. Boom! King Crimson is so predictable and it's just it just contradicts his ability. Surprisingly, he's easier to beat than Ice Cube. Boom. Boom. That was probably the easiest NPC to beat. But now that we're finally done with that, we can retrieve our Requiem Arrow and we can finally ascend. Hoppa, ni And that, my friends, is the end of this Road to Requiem episode. Now, I need actual feedback for this. If this was enjoyable to watch for you guys, just say so. If it wasn't, say so as well. And if you guys want to see me make these type of videos on other games like AUT or Crusaders Heaven, then just leave a comment. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see more of this, um, just leave a comment and like the video.